Hellcat. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started with this blue skull. So I'm starting off by gluing down one of my eyebrows. And on the opposite side, which will be the beauty side, I'm just going in with my foundation and starting the beauty routine of it. Going down the center doesn't have to be perfect because we will be going in later and creating the skull. Then just covering my dark circles with some orange concealer and some regular concealer. Ta-da! <laughs> then quickly contouring just the one side of my face. There's no need to contour the other side since you're going to be covering it with body paint. I always start out by sculpting the area that I want to contour and then using the same beauty blender to kind of blend it out. And I'm using my Shade and Light a contour palette to just give it more definition in those areas and as well as highlighting the areas that I would normally highlight like my cheekbones and part of my jaw down the center of my nose and I'm starting by creating the separation on my face going down the middle across my nose, back across my lip, and then down, and then continuing it down my neck. And then I'm feeling for the hulls of my eyes, and then just kind of using that as an outline of where the circle should be. Doing the same thing for the hollowed area or the contour area of my cheeks and the jawline. Then I'm quickly uh, sketching out the two teeth on the top and the few on the bottom. The bottom teeth are a little more triangular than the top teeth where I leave them a little more square. And then with your main color, in this case I used a blue teal, just filled in all the areas that are going to be skull with that color. And just switching to a smaller brush, I just went in and I did the smaller areas I couldn't reach with the larger brush created the center of my nose as well, leaving two sides um, to fill in with dark later to give the illusion that it's missing. And then going over the white lines with the same blue to kind of get rid of it and also gives it more of a, I guess, natural highlighted area because of the white and the mixture of the teal. Then with a shade of blue I am going in and just roughly contouring the skull so normally the temple anywhere that you would normally contour your face such as your temples your cheekbones doing the same thing on the skull just gives it more depth and illusion You'll see me from time to time look down. I'm using a picture of a skull to kind of get an idea of where I want my contoured areas to be. With a white shadow, I'm just giving a little highlight above and below each of the teeth. Then with the white shadow, I'm using it to highlight the areas that you would normally highlight on a face 
in this case giving the illusion that there's more depth and definition on the skull portion. With a smaller brush, I believe this one's from Sigma, I'm just going in and defining those areas a little more. I always work in layers because I feel if I just go in with one solid color, it looks um, a little less natural, if that makes sense. And then with a dark um, color, I believe this is a black brown, you know, I don't know, I'm going to put it in the description box below. I'm just giving it more illusion that the top part of the skull is covering the bottom half of the jaw or the part of the jaw. And using that same color and a cow um, brush to define more of those areas. Now I'm outlining portions of the skull and then filling in the hollowed out areas. I'm doing the same thing on the nose on both sides. Be careful when you're working with body paint not to get it too far up your nose. <laughs> then I'm just outlining the top and bottom portion of the teeth. With a green, I'm filling in my teeth. I just wanted to give it a contrast scent and rather than leaving it a solid white. But you can definitely fill it in with whichever color you like and then just going back in with the black. I always do the black or try to do most of the black lining. Always start with the lighter shades and then move in with the dark. In this case, doing the green and then starting to outline with um, the black. I find that if you go in right away and try to outline an area with black and then go in to fill it with green, it kinds of uh, ends up getting muddy. So my recommendations usually start with your light colors and go in and add your uh, defining darker colors. I mean just using what I had left over from that brush and kind of defining more of the areas. Try not to dip too much black. I don't want to give it too much of a solid line. Now I'm just filling in the eye area with black. Being careful not to get it in my eyeball. And then with the same black, I'm just adding more detail to the areas, adding cracks or some kind of shattered areas. Not to give it more depth and look like it's actually peeling away, I am using a black shadow to cast or use that to kind of make it appear as if my skin is casting a shadow onto the skull piece. And with white body paint and um, a smaller brush, I'm just starting to create the pieces of folded skin. It's kind of an outline of what I want it to be. There is no real rhyme or reason for the shapes. I just wanted to make them look 
as if they were flopping over and I thought semi-diamond or semi-triangular shapes would work best for this. And then I'm going in and filling that in with white body paint. Again with the black shadow I'm just creating more um, depth going in on the innermost corners of each folded area and just adding some shadow to make it appear as if it was folding over and then on the very tips of each teared um, area to make it look like it's starting to fold over again. And then you just continue down with the same kind of basic roll on all of the areas. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and kind of adding more depth, this time on the outside of each folded skin area to make it look like that area is causing a shadow on my skin. I'm taking a white body, uh, white body paint to create more highlight. Now you start with your neck. You can actually stop right where I was or you can continue down your neck. It's basic same, um, same rules apply. Create the half portion of your body and now I'm creating the bone areas, filling it in with some black. I did go a little crazy with the black and it started to run. Uh, you can just kind of play with it and fix it up. And with the blue again, creating some depth on each of the bones. as well as highlight and then creating the torn pieces again on the opposite side filling it in and then going back in and creating some highlights on the bones with that same body paint and then same principle again creating some shadows on the folded areas and underneath as well to make it appear as if it's folded over your skin. And then I guess for the beauty side, you can kind of do whatever you want, but I decided to give myself a little bit of a contra contrast um, using some yellow shadow on the eyebrows and some glitter um, on the eyebrows and then taking that yellow shadow and uh, starting with my eye. And then patting some green shadow on top of that. And then adding some more definition in the crease with a darker green. Now taking a green glitter, this one's from Star Crushed Minerals, just patting all of that all over my lid. And I just gave myself a wing. For these tears, I just took a green body paint and kind of went down my face. I try not to make them, uh, I try to make them asymmetrical, not really matching. And then with 
some Lumi pigment from Sugar Pill. I'm adding a bit of highlight to each of the ends of the tears. And with the black shadow, just going underneath each of those tears to make it look as if they are actually popping out. And lastly, I'm just taking a black liquid lipstick. This is Witches from Kat Von D. I actually left it out for a very long time open for some reason. I don't know how. So it's very dry, but you'll be uh, seeing me struggle here to get it on. It's a beautiful color. Kat Von D's products are amazing, so this is totally my fault. But I wanted to show you how beautiful this color is. Next time we'll get a new one. Anyways, that's the whole look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love you guys so much. Um, if you guys do recreate this look, please tag me. I would love to see it. I love sharing and commenting and all that fun stuff. So until next time, see you guys. Like a hell cut.